Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise, and this reading is for Thursday, July 15th, 2021. I'm using this deck here, this Work Your Light Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. It looks like the artwork's by Danielle Noel. They're pretty cool cards. I think you'll like them. Let's see, what is it that we need to know to help heal our souls and to move forward on our path? Which sometimes means we sit and wait. <laughs> we work and wait in faith, you know. Um, but what is it we need to know at this time? Okay. And if you do get this deck, I have to confess that I used fanning powder on the cards because they were sticky. I left them out for days in the air thinking that it might help like it usually does, but it, eh, it's still a little, a little sticky. So, Mintaken. Ooh, well, this is exactly what I was, oh, I, you know, I had no idea about that. I, I was asking about... Um, how to come back to who we truly are. I mean, that's always my question, right? You guys know me. And Min Taken, I don't, I've never heard of this, but it says longing for home, belonging, and the original light workers. So maybe it's a, a realm of light workers from where we originally hail. A gorgeous card. Love this. The image is up here. Wow, and looks like a mermaid. <laughs> cool. Uh, so anyway, but this combo here is really beautiful. We have this birthing a new age, birthing new creations, it says, dreaming a new world into being. And then soul family. And it says call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Absolutely. That's for sure. That's why we're all here together. That's, you know, this is the main reason I wanted to do this channel. I never knew that I was going to wind up doing political readings. I started this channel just for this purpose. Even though you can see how many people watch these videos. It's like 200 compared to 2,000 with the political ones. So pat yourself on the back that we have found each other. We have found our soul family together. And if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. And if it weren't for me, you wouldn't be watching. <laughs> We're all one. We're all together. We are, we are our, our own tribe. And so we can, we can bring in more. more. More people can come into our tribe as they, as they find us, right? That, that happens. I'm, but I love this birthing a new age. I think it's been happening forever. We're always evolving. I mean, of course, we can have lifetimes where it seems like we do devolve, but I don't really think that there's any such thing as de-evolution. It's been a bit of an argument, but I I don't believe in de-evolution. Now, with the atrocities of earth there certainly can be damage to dna but not to our spirit our spirits will always take us out if we are about to damage our spirit so our spirits will not stand for that so if something's happening that is destroying our physical health that's one thing but when it comes to things that can destroy our spirits eventually our spirits will take us out of the situation, and then we'll just have uh, who knows how many lifetimes we need to try and heal that. Or we'll have, we'll have experiences in the spiritual realm that take a whole lot longer to, um, you know, to, to heal, but that's where it will happen, if need be. Uh, but, so, but, but on the positive side for us... It's, it's about coming back home to ourselves. This realm, this Mintaken realm, is inside of us. It's already inside of us. It, 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 everything in the universe is inside of us. 
You know, all the love and the light of the universe is inside of us. And then we have the, the wonderful opportunity on a daily basis to share who we are with our soul family. And together, we can bring in a whole new creation. I, I love how she's created this spiraling in. You know, she's put stones in place. It's everything in nature, if, you, if we look, usually has a spiral um, organis, you know, organism with it. I don't know about rocks and stones, but it makes sense that they would be too. But, you know, you look at a shell, you look at a lot of shells and there's a spiral. You look at the way I'm, I, I used to, when I lived in the forest, I used to, used to blow me away looking at the top of little baby pine trees. And you could see that it, it, it was like a spiral at the top and it would just kind of unfurl this way. It was really trippy to look at. I'd go and water them every, every day in the summer or every other day and, and watch, you know, watch them grow like that. It was just such a trip. And, but, you know, you see it, you see it in ferns. It's like the way a fern unfolds. It's all, it comes from a spiraling outward. So from the inner realms and with uh, it, the support we can provide for each other, we can unfurl, unfold, and birth a new reality for ourselves. I love that. <laughs> okay, so I feel like using this little moon magic deck too, just to see. And, and I have to do this blindly because I'll be drawn to a certain color. So I'm looking up. <laughs> and then I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull a card here and see what the message is. That's cool. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ah. Oh. I shine my light outwards for all to see. Moon goddess Diana. Well, there we go. What else, what better could we do in, in any given day, right? <laughs> Couldn't get any better than that. <laughs> uh, so, okay, well, thanks, you guys. I'm going to get this uploaded for you, and I'll be back um, for tomorrow's. Okay, hope you're doing well. Take good care. Bye.